since Glide began, we've seen hundreds of thousands of non-technical people make their own software. Today, well over a million apps have been made with Glide. Part of Glide's appeal is how easy it is to make software that looks beautiful on mobile. But whilst many people want to develop for mobile scenarios, we're realizing that this is just part of a broader story of the software that people need to create. We regularly see teams running multiple Glide apps. Some are using them on mobile, out in the field, and others are using the tablet layout on their desktops in tandem with the spreadsheet. Whilst tablet layout works fine on desktops and laptops, the requirements of desktop interfaces are much broader. Today, we're extending the software that you can create with a new product called Glide Pages. It's exactly like the Glide that you know and love, but it's been updated and extended to be native to the web and desktop. You're going to see a lot of similarities, but also a lot of new, exciting features that make Pages much more powerful. Let's take a look at a typical scenario that we often see. This company has a Glide app that lets their field agents manage their sales on the road. They use this app on mobile, and it works perfectly. Back in the office, the managers and dispatchers have the same app, but with a few hidden tabs to help them manage approvals and reports. The managers often switch between using the spreadsheet and the app, but this is kind of small and limited for an admin app, and switching between the app and spreadsheet gets kind of annoying. It would be amazing if they had an interface with much more visibility and control. Well, this is their admin portal, made with Glide Pages. It has layouts with a higher visual density, more locations for actions and buttons, and new components designed specifically for desktop. Because we have more room on desktop, we have more options. We can display things large and bold to highlight them, or small and compact to show a lot of data in one place. This table is a good example. It shows a lot of information, but it's really compact. There's inline search and filtering, and many new locations for actions. At the top of the list, we have our main actions and a drop-down menu for even more. And each item has its own buttons, which are actions to edit or preview, and this also has its own drop-down menu. A desktop user obviously uses a mouse to interact with the software, and Pages takes full advantage of this by placing more opportunities to add actions and buttons. This also gives you more flexibility. This add item action is not built into the list. We just added it ourselves. We could have put it somewhere else. Similarly, if we navigate to a detail screen, we can see that our edit item button is in line inside of the title component, because that's where we wanted it. So let's jump into Glide now and have a look at how easy it is to work with Pages. This Pages project is almost finished, but we need to create an approval screen where our admins can approve new orders created by reps out in the field using the mobile app. We'll create a new page called Approvals, add a collection, and connect it to the Orders table. Next, we'll add a new action that appears on each item. This action just needs to add a timestamp to the Approved column, and some logic in our data editor will update the status to Approved. Now we can filter the list to only show unapproved items, and our admins can quickly approve items in the list without even visiting the detail screen. We could even add other actions to make this more helpful, like a preview or a button to email the sales rep. There are many more remarkable aspects to Pages that we won't go over now, so take a look for yourself. Visit glide.new in your browser to create your first Glide page, and look out for even more exciting updates in the months to come.